Despite the constant rumors about separation, the Beckhams happily celebrated their 21st anniversary together. With all their charity projects and unbelievably hot magazine covers, they look like the perfect couple. But are they really? In our video, we will tell you about the struggles that the smileless Posh Spice and the legendary football player faced during the past two decades. Victoria dreamed of becoming a superstar since she was a little girl. She grew up under wealthy parents who supported her vocal and dance training. Beckham, instead, was raised in a family of a kitchen installer and a hairdresser with no extra money. But his dreams were no less ambitious than Victoria's. He wanted to be the best soccer player of all time, so he trained day and night. As it turned out, the two shared many similarities. They grew up 15 minutes away from each other. They both worked very hard and both dreamed to be big stars. One night, they finally met. Posh Spice was already at the peak of her fame, while David was only a soccer player, not even on the first team at that stage. The funny thing is, Victoria knew nothing about David's personality. I didn't really know who he was. I was never into football, Victoria later said. She went to a charity soccer match and stayed for the after party just because her friend asked her to. Though she hadn't even heard about David, he already had a crush on her. He revealed that he saw her on telly and felt straight away that they'd always been meant to be together. David noticed Victoria at the party and smiled. She humbly waved back. Posh recalls that David was unlike his fellow colleagues. While others were standing at the bar drinking with their mates, David was standing aside with his parents. David offered Posh a glass of wine, and she soon wrote her number on his London to Manchester plane ticket, which, by the way, he still keeps. Two years after their first meeting, Posh and Bex announced their engagement. They tied the knot at the beautiful, medieval Luttrellstown Castle in Ireland in a wedding that cost a whopping one million pounds. The Beckham brand was born. It seemed like a fairy tale. Although their personal lives were going through some serious changes. The Spice Girls had split up, and after quite an unfortunate attempt at a solo album, Posh Spice focused on fashion and her young family. The Beckhams welcomed their second son, Romeo, and Victoria was soon caught up in home chores. David, on the other hand, reached success as never before. He was appointed captain of England's national team and had a whole movie, Bend It Like Beckham, based on his prowess in the soccer pitch. Moreover, David was honored with a prestigious award from the royal family for his contributions. The couple was extremely happy and were always spotted holding hands. Who knew that their marriage would suffer a real blow when Beckham's personal assistant, Rebecca Luce, claimed she had an affair with David while he was playing for Real Madrid. The tabloids went crazy. The news spread to every corner of the globe. Rebecca Luce detailed in an interview how she and David had sexual encounters at the Madrid nightclub and then continued to exchange racy texts. As the story goes, Victoria contacted Luce and warned her to back off. Increasingly explosive cheating allegations put the family through real hell. Victoria packed up her sons and flew to Switzerland, and David planned to join her from Madrid immediately. The couple reportedly went for a long-planned family vacation with her parents and his mother but the tabloids yet portrayed it as a hasty escape from the public eye. David fought back with a straight answer to the press. The simple truth is that I am very happily married. I have a wonderful wife and two very special kids. There's nothing any third party can do to change these facts. It was later revealed that Luce was paid $600,000 by News of the World for exclusive rights to serialize her story. In the meantime, Victoria relocated with their kids to Spain so everyone could be together. The Beckhams ultimately filed a suit against News of the World, but after they collected an undisclosed settlement in March 2006, the couple dropped their suit. Eventually, the tabloid shut down after people from the paper were caught hacking into private voicemail accounts. Despite the rumors and horrible paparazzi attention, David and Victoria welcomed their third son, Cruz Beckham. Victoria wisely commented on the whole story. We have been through a lot worse than this, and we're definitely going to get through this. But new challenges were waiting for the couple. Sarah Marbeck, whose name is associated with an escort service, also claimed she slept with Beckham when he was on tour with Manchester United. She stated that afterwards they continued to exchange sexually suggestive texts for two years. The Beckhams once again had to go down that roller coaster. This time it was more obvious that tabloids were simply trying to earn money in any possible dirty way. It was a tough period, not only because of the scandals. Beckham was dropped by the national team after their World Cup quarterfinal loss in 2006, and he wasn't winning titles with Real Madrid. So they did what many people would. 
they moved to start a new life from a blank page. David said that his decision to uproot his family and leave European soccer was extremely difficult. The couple chose the City of Angels, and they never once regretted it. Victoria signed on for NBC's Victoria Beckham, Coming to America. It was a six-episode show chronicling the family's move to Beverly Hills. They bought a 13,000-square-foot villa for a reported $22 million because, as Victoria told W, we didn't want anything too huge, too fancy, too ostentatious. It's a light, happy house with a great corridor the kids are going to love when they are roller skating, she added. David joked that they wouldn't have any live-in staff because we like to lock the doors at night and wander around naked. Gosh, how do they remain so adorable? At the end of 2007, Victoria embarked on a tour with the Spice Girls, which was greeted with all the fanfare you could imagine. She also dug out her stilettos and started to expand her Britain-born fashion empire. To top the cake, the Beckhams were finally blessed with a daughter, Harper Seven. David retired in 2013, playing his last game for Paris Saint-Germain, who hoisted their League One trophy that night in a picture-perfect moment. He launched a line of grooming products called House 99, inspired by 1999. The year he married Victoria, had his first child, and was at the peak of his game with Manchester United. How is it possible to stay so incredibly flawless through the years? Victoria once tried to answer, David and I have nothing to prove. We love each other, look out for each other, and are strong as both partners and parents and David revealed that for him, Victoria is still an idea of perfection. Did you enjoy the story? Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss new thrilling videos about your favorite celebs.